refund. Okay. So, let's so just, this is what I was trying to explain to you before. This is what I was trying to explain. Wait, wait, wait. Let her give her your. You, this plane, we're not going to get. I'm really trying to have faith in you, okay. sir. All right. But this plane, you're not. You're not we gonna, already had a conversation. Yes, I know. Well, we tried. I took the KPM and the marker to know here. Yeah. For you to rah rah come at me trying no, to explain I'm anything. Just trying, I'm just, oh, okay. she'll refund you your ticket and everything. You to try to act like I'm being disruptive because someone has a moral standing that they do not believe in constitutional rights. Delta policy, LaGuardia policy is not my business. Yeah. It's not the federal government's business. I will be seeking attorneys to sue Delta as well as LaGuardia because it was not just yeah. Delta, it was also LaGuardia. I was having private conversations, minding my yeah. business in a very calm we're state. Back. So we're very back. calm we're state. Go up. Yeah, we'll just move up so you guys can I, go I, back. I, 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 you're talking to a police officer. You're not talking to a fucking right ruffian up, yeah. in the streets. Okay. okay? So when we have this conversation, you're you're not telling me anything that I don't know. So we can rebook a flight, fine. But the issue is that I'm, I'm inconvenienced already. My gate was switched like yeah. four times, okay? I should have every right to complain about that. And I wasn't the only person complaining about that. I was the only person that was using what you can, what they considered as foul language and the only people that were upset about it was two people in in management. And you're not even listening, so, so it doesn't even fucking matter for me to even have this conversation with you because you can say what you want to say. I can't say what I want to say, and you actually take it as a valid a valid conversation because nobody's hearing it. You don't mm -hmm. care about constitutional rights. You worry about Port Authority policy, whatever Delta is telling you. And I want to go where I'm okay. going, too. Delta doesn't care about where I'm going. I, my shit has been switched four times. I should be able to use the language that I want to use. Right. You going, where are you going? Carolina? Yes. Okay. So right now, you're not going to get on this plane. Right? No, because so, clearly the flight attendant pulled me out of my seat while I'm talking to some old lady, explaining to her, hey, my gait got switched four times. I have disabilities. I had four back surgeries. I've been walking for fucking an hour. An hour. I should have been in a wheelchair. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to walk because my legs are working. Let me give the goddamn wheelchairs to the elderly people. And then I get to my gait. And every time I get to my gait, they switch the goddamn gait. Obviously, naturally, I'm going to be fucking tired and stressed. The lady next to me agreed. The lady that was the stewardess, that was next to the stewardess, that told me to pause before you continue to interrupt me like you were, okay? Because you keep doing it as your thing now, today. The lady next to her was like, she apologized to me because she looked at me, she's like, if she doesn't like cursing, I don't understand why she pulled you out of the seat. And I'm like, why would she do that? I'm, I'm not even loud. I'm quietly talking. She was literally standing next to my seat all up in my goddamn face. And then pulled me out the goddamn seat and was like, listen, I'll pull you off this flight. And I'm like, we are in the United States. Are we in fucking communist China? Seriously. I didn't even cuss when I said that. Because I'm really feeling like we're literally living in communist China. That I don't even have the fucking freedom of speech in this bitch. That you're threatening me to call the fucking police to pull me off the flight. That I paid $400 for. That you switched my gate how many fucking times? Okay. Like, I should be able to be upset. Why is it not okay for me to be stressed out that I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning? That's okay. We can see. I, it's I can clearly see, I can not see, okay because I'm not on a fucking goddamn flight. Yeah, because, you're, because you're acting erratically. I wasn't okay. acting erratically. I'm acting, acting erratically. Right now. I, I'm, at, I'm so, not. So, no. So, I'm acting hey. erratically now because you think it's cute to cut me off when I'm fucking trying to make a point. Okay. They no. think it's cute to pull okay. me out of my fucking seat in a private conversation yeah, when I was down you? here. Surely. Surely. Please go on and take it because I honestly do not understand how you think you can cause a problem Get a person agitated when the person is you cut the person off Don't listen to anything that they say listen to everything that the person says her co-worker agrees with me They still pull me off the flight and now somehow you still interrupted me and looking at me like I'm wrong for being upset Can I, can I ask you something? Yes, the, the two conversations that we had. Yes. Who did most of the talking in these two conversations? Uh, 
I had to speak okay. over you because you cut me <laughs> off six times I before I could even explain myself. You let you I told you all I all was a police you officer. Got, somebody okay. called you. They said so you here, were cursed. I okay, was cursing. So here, did it. you talk to everybody at the bar? Here, here's where we're at. And, and, and what you're doing right, right now is exactly what you did when you came up to me in the first place. Why I told you you should have went to the bar and talked to everybody. Let's both agree to stop right now. And you still do it. That's how you do your job. That's how you police it. Okay. That's how you're policing. Right now, and you think Delta's that's okay. going to decide whether they're going to rebook you or refund okay, you. Okay, and they will. So depending, depending on how you how you're acting, they're either going to okay, rebook so you or refund you. Okay, so then maybe you shouldn't interrupt you. me then and agitate me. Maybe then. you should listen. Oh no, then, you, I right, already stop, listened stop, to stop, you. Stop, 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 I've stop. been listening to you. Stop. When I try to explain myself, you interrupted me. <clears throat> yeah. How many stop. times? Your Trump. your co-workers Listen. right there. Yeah. Your other co-workers right there. You're on camera wherever the fuck your ass is on camera. Matter yes. of fact, you're being recorded. Okay. So yes. everybody can hear you interrupting me. Yes. I don't need anything to defend myself. Yes. You understand that the airline reserves the right. Yes. They do not trump the constitutional right. I do understand that. But that's but something that would be handled in right. the civil that's court, a policy. correct? No. It would be if in federal court, in Supreme Court. Supreme C Court. Civil court. No, that's not civil court. Supreme you Court is not if civil. If you're suing. No, I'm a, if I was suing. For civil rights. Right. That's not, that was Supreme Court. Civil if you're if suing. It, if you're Supreme suing for court. constitutional rights. If I'm suing for damages, But that's, that's the place court. to make the argument. They reserve the right to. To, to, know, to, to discriminate and deny services and inconvenience somebody. If they feel somebody. that a passenger, if they want to say that the passenger is being disrupted, they reserve okay, the right to remove and, you from and, the flight. And so they can lie. They can lie. If that's and the their case, own employees can agree with me, apologize to me on camera. If that's the case, if that's, that's the case, exactly if that's the, the case, case, then you have a case. I do have a case, you and understand? that's the problem. That, that's saying? the inconvenience, and I do want. I appreciate you. We're responding you. to a call saying that someone was disruptive and, and, and the flight had right, to return. Right, okay? and that's bullshit. And that's what I'm trying to tell you is that I have done this job, so I can sit there and say if I, when I did my job, and somebody called me and said, "Oh, there was a fight," when I get there. If there's no reasonable suspicion, if there's no probable cause, if there's no fight, and I just hear, oh, so-and-so had a gun, am I going to sit there and go guns blazing, rip them out of their fucking house, pull a gun on them, shoot no, them? No, no one removed you Nobody, from the flight either. You, uh, you walked off the flight, No, right? I was removed from the flight. By who? I was removed from the flight, first of all, by the lady that called me up there the in company, the first place. The, the company told you to leave? The, yes, okay, they asked the me to leave. The police didn't rip you off the flight, correct? Uh, who, who got me out of my seat? You got me out of my seat? Y'all got, you asked me to come out of the seat. You guys came out to get me out of the seat. You didn't ask you to come out. You could have said no. What am I going to sit there and make more problems so you can complain that I was being uh, argumentative no, well, and disruptive no, and, and, and resisting no, your authority? No, no, come no, on, bro. I asked you to step out. I did. You know, the plane, in a private, private area, yeah, right? Going and the plane is gone. So, so you know that plane is gone. Come on now, you we're not done now. Okay, I will. I will. Okay. So the airline employee, which is the flight attendant, they are the mm -hmm. ones to make the decision. We're not letting yes. her fly, so I can't force them to. Oh, you know, she has to go. I cannot. That's their policy. Mm -hmm. So at this point, that's why they left. So they're the authority, not you. You're just here to just they be have the to be willing. They would have to be willing. You would, have to re, you would have to refuse to leave, and they would have to be willing to press charges before we would go ahead and actually arrest you. And then what charges would they be able to, to file? Well, they would revoke your ticket, and then it would be a trespass charge. Ah, okay. Okay. So bullshit then, basically. Well, that's the, so well, this that, is a, a, I, I, I know, but I'm just saying, you know, as a common citizen, that if that shit happened to you and you didn't have a badge on, that that shit would be bullshit. Yeah, Period. I, I'll be honest with you. If I had to get somewhere, I wouldn't go making a stink on the plane. Okay, I normally would not be making a stink, <clears throat> but I, my shit, I, for, like I said, I had four back surgeries. I'm fucking exhausted. Okay. I've been up since 3 o'clock a.m. I have already dealt with someone discriminating against me while I'm paying $16 for tiny ass IHOP size freaking drink. Okay. okay, two drinks. I didn't even get past my first drink before a person is sitting there. Oh, I don't like the language you're using. We're in COVID time, monkey pox time, and somebody is literally in my face trying to tell me how I'm supposed to be speaking. You know, you guys might be used to people okie dokie, you know, uh, 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 complying so they don't die. You might be used to people complying so they don't die in don't this society. What, what it means is, is people in positions of authority can breach your constitutional rights to ask you whatever they want to ask you. And because you're afraid they're going to shoot you and kill you, you just let them rob you of your rights. Okay? okay? I'm just saying. This is like kind of going haywire. Oh, oh well, it's, going, it's, it's not going haywire. It's like you're not keeping up. It's no, like you're, you're not keeping no, I'm, up. I'm keeping up, believe me. So, 
Are you currently taking any medications? No. I'm, I'm, ju- I'm not taking any medications. Are you under any type of psychiatric care? No. It just doesn't I'm, seem like I'm, a reasonable I'm, response. It is a reasonable right? response when you have had people two times today do this already. And for nothing. I was, when we're talking, okay, remember earlier when you came up to me, I said, I can't, I can't fucking believe that this guy was all up in my face. We're in COVID times, we're supposed to keep six feet. I don't understand why the dude was this close to me. I'm in this same exact volume, minding my business, talking to people right next to me. And the guy did not like the actual cuss words that I was using. So he called you guys. First he came to me and I was like, I don't understand why you're trying to tell me that I, I can't use curse words in my language. It, it was the guy at the, what was it, Costa, uh, oh, Costa or something, the manager at Costa. And so when they came, I said, what is your due diligence? If they said whatever they accused me of, go ask the bartenders, go ask the people that were gonna serve me. I didn't even have the chance to get food. I ordered one drink and I was like, I didn't even have a chance to get food. So ask the people around the bar, ask right. the people behind the bar, and what did they say? Both of them came back and said nobody had any Do problems with anything. Yeah, start, start doing I'm going to go first. with, I'm going to go nobody with. Nobody had problems um, with anything. And take you. Uh, pro secure for boarding gate 72. Pro secure 72 for boarding gate. I just want to get on my flight and get where I need to go. And this is unnecessary, so I should be able to be upset. The people are thanking me to be sky mileage people, and then two seconds later, somebody's dragging me off the flight. Well, it wasn't me because I'm No, it wasn't you. I, I haven't no, not even at all. spoken no, to you. No, no, no. no. It's, just it's not directly at you. It's that I'm frustrated and about actually, the entire situation. The company that they work for is. Um, Endeavor Air, which is affiliated with Delta Airlines, so it's okay. a whole different subsidize of them. But okay. I have to go have by to what mediate. they said. Yeah. Um, I had to call my corporate security. I had to tell them what the flight attendant said because I wasn't here. Right. So you and I can go over to the gate area. I'll see what we have. I'll speak to you, and if everything is cool, I'll try and book you for another flight if it's available. Honestly, I will not speak though, to right? anyone because I have places to be. Oh, I, I have understand. deadlines that I have to be at, and this is an inconvenience to me. It's not like I'm right. making problems because I'm just making problems, but at what point do you stand up for yourself, yes. aside from you just sitting there letting some random lady be pissed that you use curse words, and she doesn't like it? I mean, the only seriously. thing is, they have every right because they're going to be 35,000 feet in the air. Okay. And they want just everyone to be quiet. Just my We were quiet. Just sit there. Literally, we were quiet. This well, was you a lady. Someone else on board? Yes, there was a, well, there was a lady right next to me. Well, she was a stranger to, to me. Oh, oh, you yeah, were, she, we were just, we were just okay. sitting there talking. She showed me pictures of her boyfriend, like right, the guy right. she liked. We're minding our business. Yeah, the, the lady is like this by the chair right. in you our conversation. Leave your and I'm no looking. I, 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 the, yes, the one who called you. So that's why I, I have it. The lady was like, you do not why would she do that? I don't understand. If a lady in front of me said, I'm going to pray for you because I can't believe this is happening. A stranger you. approaches you. Okay, so at that point, I'm like, Contact I know that I'm not going crazy here. The this shit is not right, and then I, I, I just want to get yes, away yes, from this. I just need you to search. know that if we do put you on another flight, this cannot happen. I'm not going to speak right. to anyone okay. because apparently, if anybody overhears something that they don't like, Delta is okay with allowing them to, no matter how right. much they pay, no matter what their club that they're in, right. they feel that it is a fully acceptable to remove them from the flight based off the, 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 the morals of the flight attendant. And right. that is not ethical in itself. It's not constitutional. Well, I'm, I'm not saying moral or ethical. It's just that you need to be quiet on the airplane until you land. Okay, when you say we're quiet, we were quiet. The only reason we were, it was like, oh, look at his cue. Oh, oh. And the lady, the the reason, the reason why she said was because the lady, I said, did what time did you get here? And she's like, my gate got switched like two or three times, and I was like, I've been here. I got here three hours earlier. My gate was switched four fucking times, and I I, 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 said. Right, that's what I said. And I, and being a person with four back surgeries, right. there was no wheelchairs, there was no little guys to like right. pay to like drive me. So I'm I'm sweating right. my ass off. I'm exhausted. And the lady's like, I said, and it wasn't even that I was selfish about myself. I was thinking, what about those girls that push the wheelchairs for eight hours a day? What about the people that are elderly? Like I'm thinking about other people and I'm sitting here thinking about other people. Nobody cares about that. They're just worried about what's coming out of my mouth. Plus wise. And the 
volume and tone level is down no, here. I think they're going to have to work with so like the airplane coming in here. They need the depth floor. So I think I got it from here. That's a part of the um, uh, Do you need any further SAT jobs yeah. or uh, yeah, well, they're, they're doing right their number again. I, let let me see. I think I wrote out. it down. Okay. I would appreciate it. Let because I do have place to go. It's just, it's crazy. This is fun, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie. I'm back to Brad. 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 I'm back to I'm just having a hard time I can look up digesting that this is the reality that we're living in. So that's probably okay. where the frustration is coming right. from because when we're talking about tone, volume, we were down here. And I didn't even come to you guys with that. I was actually surprised that you were coming up to me because I couldn't even believe that he was all up in my neck Do you guys have an update? Okay. Do you need any additional? I'm just like, I'm, I'm exhausted. And I'm just, I feel disrespected. I feel like it, this was a waste of money. I should have just rented a car. Like, this is crazy to me. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. Yeah. Roger, you want to mention? Good morning, folks. I like copy. Could you just walk in with that number? Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. Yeah, stand by and make sure everything's good. Oh. Okay. okay. I want to go with you. What's your first name? Uh, Brianna. I'm Camille. Nice to meet you, Camille. Um, this is going to be quiet and painless, and I hear where you're coming from. Yes. The flight attendant in the front. You know, I, and, and I get a frustrated because I don't yeah. cry. Like, that's not my thing. But with everything I already went through, physically and then publicly, it's, it's too much. I know. And I don't... It really, it's, it's unnecessary. It's a, it really is I mean, unnecessary. I mean, and when your own, uh, one flight attendant says one thing and the other one that's right next to her there. knows that okay. I wasn't being disruptive Let's or anything, then obviously, if somebody apologizes to you, I, and, I, I, and she's right on the camera saying, because I was like, I was a little shocked that right. she put me out, so I'm like, what the heck? Thank you. Let me tell you what you see that I have. I agree. Um, and, you know, I asked her, I'm like, I'm like, what the heck? And she's like, I'm so sorry. Because I'm like, so because she has a problem? Right. She apologized. I was quiet. Right. Right. I didn't even know he was a female, male, and I said, what's going on? Did somebody threaten you? Did somebody hit you? Right. Because when we had the pandemic with this, right. oh my God, I had to go down to I mean, so many things. when we have six feet, okay? And, yeah. and imagine when one of their managers are right on my neck and I have an autoimmune, you know, issue, I'm like, what are you doing in my neck like right. that? So That's I'm already crazy. now panicked. And then even still, I'm able to collect myself, get on the plane, be cordial, meet a stranger. I'm an I introvert. Really I don't even talk to people like that. I do apologize for whatever occurred. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to try and help you and see if I can get you a flight. I have to get where I need to go. Okay. Like, there is no, <laughs> I'm on literally a time shade. There's no, like, I don't have days to spare. And I, I, I know I, I could have just shut up. You know, my mom tells me all the time, just, you know, comply or die, you know, yeah. just just let them say whatever. But that's the reason why it's this messed up. Yeah, in my mother. opinion, in my opinion, in grew, I'm, I'm 1985. Like, but but in my opinion, if I comply and I can die anyway, why why would I comply and let you just br rob me of my rights? But that's the way I am. Why would I let you do that? Why would I let you do that? And then on top of that, rob me on my rights and you embarrass me in front of a whole entire plane of strangers. And then on top of that, you inconvenience me. It's not like I'm not paying top dollar for this flight. Okay? Then on top of that, now I have to sit there and what? Kiss your ass. Okay? No. Absolutely not. I can't do it. Listen, all of the brown in me, all of the brown in me will not allow it. It will not. And I try. I try my best. But there's no way that I'm going to have somebody. And then this lady, while I'm walking out of the plane, she's like, you know what? For one time in your life, you should just think about uh, someone else other than yourself. That's what yes. she said to me when I was leaving yes, the plane. Just some random lady sitting in the chair. I said, listen, you lady, you don't even know what's going on. You don't even know what's going on. And I was like, I hope this happens to you. I hope it happens to you so that you understand what I'm going through. Okay, let me just look and see what I can do. I'm so I can't no, believe no, this. Like I'm 
And what's crazy is the guy, like I'm, like I said, I was a police officer for two years. You, some people, they don't listen to you. They just sit there and let you talk and wait for you to give them an opportunity to cut you off or an opportunity for them to reply to whatever you're saying. And they may not have listened to anything oh, they're saying. Give me a minute because I have to take you off and I have to resend the numbers on the flight. Okay. So just give me two seconds. Okay. That's more important. I'm so tower glad that. Coming tower. I'm so fucking glad that I didn't go join Delta Club, somebody tower Sky Club. I'm so glad I didn't spend that money. I'm so glad that I got the cheapest ticket that yeah, there was. I uh, had to remove the customer. I'm resending the numbers for that TSP flight. Copy? Okay, thank you. Let me do that. That's more important. I'm so glad that I didn't join Delta anybody's club because I debated it. I'm so glad that I got the cheapest ticket possible and didn't try to upgrade anything because when you if you thought that uh oh you're you're loud or whatever if i would have paid the money that i would have had to pay after i joined the club and and upgraded my seats and they treated me like that i would have been irate okay irate i would have been a karen i would have totally been a karen you could have called me karen and i would have responded that like if that was my name the way that I've been dealt with today. Then I already have to deal with anxiety as it is, so I barely could even eat before I left. And the only thing I could do was just try to talk to the people next to me to make myself feel a little bit more comfortable. And then me talking to the people next to me is now a problem. Now, I, now I'm not even allowed to talk to people next to me because my language is not perfect to what, they, what their standards are. God forbid I was speaking in Arabic. They would have fucking probably thought I was a terrorist. They would have probably accused me of making terroristic threats and, and uh, the TSA would have been here instead of Port Authority. I'll be getting a full cavity like search. This. I'll be, I'll be with you in just a second. Yeah, I'm, I'm just spewing off in my brain, okay. my, my okay. thought process, so that I can understand what's happening. Because this is trash. Trash. 